the Mechanisms Engineering Test Loop, or METAL, team at Argonne National Laboratory handles, uses, and disposes of alkali metals. Sodium-cooled reactors are the most mature advanced reactors. Alkali metals, such as sodium, react violently with water. Due to the high reactivity of sodium, components at the end of their useful life must be decontaminated. The decontamination begins by an operator using an oxyacetylene torch to melt sodium from a sodium service component into a burn pan. Once sodium has been drained from the component into the pan, it is ignited and allowed to burn. When the fire becomes self-sustaining, an operator must monitor the fire and stoke it with a metal prod to ensure that the fire does not extinguish itself. Sustaining the fire by stoking ensures that the fire goes through a complete burn, which reduces sodium inventory in subsequent processes. When a few embers remain post-burn, this is a clear indicator that components must go through the next process of using steam to react away residual sodium. The steaming process could be actually broken down into two sub-processes. The first is to use dry or superheated steam. This is steam with a very low density, so there is very little water per volume. This allows the residual sodium to be gently reacted. The second steaming subprocess involves de-energizing the superheaters. This allows the steam to reach a saturated state or creating wet steam. The wet steam has a higher density, so there is much more water per volume than dry steam. This increases the probability of water reaching the trace amounts of sodium. When the reaction products are no longer reacting with the steam, water is then sprinkled on the components to react away any remaining sodium. During this process, an operator must again use a metal prod to stir and break apart reaction products to reveal additional sodium. Lastly, all tools and components are doused with water this ensures all the alkali metal has been reacted away and the part has been fully decontaminated. These components or parts are now safe to handle and can be put into a scrap metal recycling program.